Hey guys, Kev here, and I want to open up the first package here for our What's Hot video for Urban EDC. This is for the gear drop that is happening on June 14th. So, before we start that, actually, let me grab a different knife. It is looking like the barley is going to be dropping the pre order for this gear drop. So this is the Urban EDC Barley. This is a design by Colin and I from Devo Knives and they are dropping the pre-order. So if you guys wanna support us, if you guys are into this design, then um, pick one up on the pre-order. I will link it down below um, as well as the gear drop. This is the blue handle with Sagaha. It's a titanium handle and an M390 blade on the prototype. Um, not positive what we're going with in production, so just read the uh, description and everything. You have a belt satin blade, a long pool, and uh, I think the cool feature on this knife is that we added a finger choil. So for those of you who have been eyeing up slip joints and you've been like, damn, I really wanna get into the slip joint game, but I just like having locking knives because it's safe, right? That's why we did a uh, finger choil. So you can grip this knife in the choil and it is damn near impossible to cut yourself. Um, I have cut through cardboard. I've cut through other materials and just without a care in the world, just putting my thumb wherever I want and it will not close on me because I have that choil that is keeping it open. Um, so, you know, just make sure you grip it up at the top of the choil here not down here, then I guess you could maybe close it on yourself, but common sense, folks. Um, the action or walk and talk is phenomenal. Um, really, really well done. We're gonna try to strengthen the spring just a touch in production, so it's a little snappier. Um, the uh, kind of design inspiration for this knife was actually the Tactile Knives Bear, so I wanna give them credit. Um, when I had that knife, I really liked it. I loved how slim it was, but I didn't like that it was a clip point. And so what I thought was, why don't we design a knife that is just as thin or close? Uh, the bear is at 0.27 inches. This is at 0 0.31, 0 0.32, which I think is a little better because it gives it a little more, um, structure, um, or stability, whatever you want to call it. And so we did that, and then we obviously wanted a sheep's foot, and then uh, we added the uh, choil. Um, so that is how this knife was born, or design was born, and then we uh, talked to Urban EC, and they uh, picked it up. So very, very cool stuff. Has a lanyard pin back here for the seven of you guys, and um, we're excited about this knife. So this should be dropping on the 14th. There's a plain tie version without any uh, pattern. I think it might have the faux bolster. Actually, I don't think it does. Just plain tie. Um, and then there's two Sagaha versions, the blue, and there's a black that has an acid wash blade. Um, so very cool stuff. All right, moving on, let's open up the package here. Looks like we have two things in a pack slip. All right, we got two things. So let's start with this nuck looking thing. Um, this is the K and MT ZWT Tuskmaster Zirconium. So I think this is sort of a play on the Minotaur or uh, what's he called in the uh, Star Wars? I forget. Um, I know, but I can't remember. Z made in the USA. Here's their information if you're interested. Okay. QR code. Nice. And then it says the Tusk Master, Master in Zirconium. Damn. Okay. It looks to be a little pry bar. So it's a pry bar. Um, so you could use it as a flathead, I guess, and as a pry. And then I suppose it would be a bottle opener, right? Um, and then you have... These uh, eyeballs here, I don't think they fit anything. And then you have a lanyard spot to hang it on your keys so you can then, you know, have a grip to use it. Very interesting. Very cool. Um, you know, 
pocket trash, as they call it. As the kids are calling it. And then we have this thing. Burnley. Okay, I'm interested. Oh, it's a squid too. Cool, okay. Bend, Oregon. Squid 2 frame light. Is this a custom or is this... No, made in Montiago, Italy. So it's just telling us where he's from. Got it. Wow, okay. So this is made by uh, the Italians. I've actually handled a Squid 2 before. Oops, something fell. Um, I've handled a Squid 2 before that Colin owned. Let me just make sure. Okay, it's a patch. <laughs> Sorry. Gotta look at my bald head, maybe. There you go. That's a cool patch, actually. Glad I found that. And I handled Collins, and it was good. I was surprised, because, you know, Italy, I give them shit. Um, but here it is. So this is the Squid 2, dead centered. Very nice um, finish on the titanium. I like that. Gold Anno. Woo! Good detent. Yeah, these are good. Squid 2. Now, they are expensive, if I remember correctly. They're like $400 or something. But, you know, it's titanium. It's M390, I'm sure. Does it say it? Yep, M390. And, you know, Italian made. It's just kind of what it is. And then, you know, obviously Burnley is going to have to get his cut. Is this sticking? No. Is it just tight? Let's just see. Yeah, it's just kind of hard to push that lock bar over. Try it, lefty. Yeah, you got to kind of drag it out of the way. But the detent's good. I'm sure that'll break in. The clip, hopefully, is resting on the frame, not on the... Eh, it looks like it might be on the lock bar. Shouldn't be. But I think it might be resting on the uh, lock bar, which might be the issue. <laughs> Man, it's hard to get out of the way. Let me remove this thing. See if that helps, because it might be putting pressure down. It fell out, okay. Yeah, unfortunately, it looks like that uh, clip is putting pressure on the lock bar. It should be right up over on the frame, and that way it won't cause issues when you're trying to disengage it. Um, so yeah, if you have Hulk hands, this is going to be good. Ugh. Lock bar is very stiff, but it looks cool. I'll shut up about that. It looks really good. Um, the other one I handled from Colin didn't have that issue. So this one just happens to be tight, I guess. I don't know. Um, I love that they use big white ceramic detent balls, which is great for smoothness on the blade you don't have a bunch of scratchiness going on spear point blade is very very cool yeah i like it quite a bit Ugh. so that's the burnley squid 2 and then we have the tusk master so I'm going to go over to the face cam where I will do the rest of the what's hot. We'll go through the gear drop and everything. Hopefully I'll have details on the uh, barley pre-order for those of you who are interested. And we truly appreciate it if you are. And uh, yeah, so back to you, Kev, at the studio. Hey guys, Kev here and welcome to the What's Hot video for the June 14th drop, baby. Uh, I am very excited this week because we get to show off and promote the first licensed design from Devo Nice. Hell yeah, baby. Colin and I are stoked on this one. This is our barley design, and it is an Urban EDC production knife. So this is their knife, our design, and we are stoked on it. It comes in three variations. There's this one right here with the blue Saigaiha pattern, titanium with a belt satin M390 steel. Then we have a uh, black Saigaiha with a acid-washed, 
M390 blade steel. Blade steel? Uh, steel blade. <laughs> And then we have an all plain titanium. Check out uh, Urban ED. So check out the thumbnail for this video. Come on. You don't think I'm going to drop that in the thumbnail. Get out of here. All right. Um, I'll, I'll try to show you all three in the thumbnail if I can. Uh, but very, very cool. It's up on our Instagram, Urban's Instagram. And the plain tie version is up for pre-order at $249. And then the Sagaiha patterned ones are up for $299 on pre-order. That is uh, what they're calling an early bird price. So I did get a look at the retail prices, and they are a bit more. So I would suggest you pick one up now, baby. Use that link down below in the description. Helps the channel if you use those links, guys. I truly Truly appreciate you guys using those links because you do, and it really does help. It's got me pushing for full time as soon as possible. So um, keep on working those links. I appreciate you guys. It doesn't cost you anything and uh, helps a brother out. So that is the barley. I showed it extensively in the, I think, first part of this uh, video. So check it out. Love you guys. I'm rocking my Slip Life shirt. If you guys want some Devo Slip Life swag, we got patches on our website, devoknives.com. And we also have these t-shirts under the uh, swag section. So we're going to take a look at the gear drop here in a second. But I wanted to also quickly show um, the two things that came in. And I did show them in that first uh, video. But another quick peek at the Tusk. Is it the Tusk Master? Yeah, the Tusk Master. Tusk Master. It's a tongue twister baby um tusk master pry bar goes on your keychain bottle opener pry bar screwdriver type thing not necessarily my style but some cool pocket trash for you guys out there and uh that is in zirconium which is pretty damn cool and then we have the squid 2 from burnley this is made in Maniago, italy m390 um uh, i do have quite a bit of an issue with this one in particular the lock bar is super stiff like Oh, it's it's pretty brutal, um, but I have handled a few of these, and this is the only time I've had that issue, and the detents were good on all the other ones, so um, I think it's hopefully just a break-in thing with the coating or uh, just something wrong with this particular version, which is what always happens. Uh, if they send me something, it usually is the one out of a million that has an issue, um, but overall, this knife is very, very good for a Maniago-made knife. I have been extremely impressed with the Squid 2. So there's that. All right. Let's get on over to the website and check out what's hot. What's hot at Urban EDC. I got to get like an intro for this series where it's like burning fire and welcome to Urban EDC pops up and shit. That'd be pretty dope, wouldn't it? Um, <laughs> yes, I'm a madman, baby. All right, let's check it out. So here is your gear drop. Um, no, this is not your gear drop. It says incoming. What? I gotta log in again? I just logged in, baby. Come on. Traffic lights are giving me the traffic lights one. This one's hard, man. You gotta like find them all and shit. Some of you know it's hard to see this shit sometimes. Look, oh try again. Get the you know what? I quit. <laughs> Does that count? Like, this is where they get me every time. Does this count? That's the mirror, right? That shit counts. Oh, please try again. This is, this is man, I hate this shit. Like, if it has a sliver of it on there, it should count, right? There, all right, got you. Are you serious? Does this not count because he's not because he's in the picture? The motorcycle's not in it. Like, I don't understand. These are all motorcycle parts. They're all in there. Even there. Dude, I'm going to punch this shit in the face. This is hilarious. Does it know that I'm on camera right now and I want to move on with my life? Look, that one, I even missed one. You sons of bitches. All right, let's go home for the love of Pete. Let's go home. I'm going to try to pull up my mail and go to the damn gear drop. I had it loaded up already. I don't know what happened. All right, here we go. Sorry, guys. You had to witness the amazing capture skills that I have. <laughs> uh, all right. So we have the, oh, that was from Zach Woods Tools. Okay. I didn't know that. That's what the ZW is for. Oh, genius. Um, all right. So that puppy's 279 
279. That's a pricey son of a bitch, but it is zirconium. I kind of get it. That's a lot of money, though. Uh, but if you love this thing, get yourself one, baby. I like his pry bars. Um, the Slender Bar Pop Pry. Um, I wonder what that's. Is that just a screw for a clip or something? Is there a clip? Yeah, there's a clip on the back. Okay, that's cool. Okay. 190 bucks in titanium. Okay. Um, there's the EDC V Megalodon bottle opener. So we're really pimping these pocket trash items. And then, and then, bang, baby. Look at that. Look at that. Wait, this, this is one I got to read the full description for. I got to see what they put for this. Um, but let's take a look at some pictures first. Oh, yeah. So this right here is the plain tie. So here's the thing I hear from people a lot. If you don't like faux bolsters, because a lot of people are like, I really like that, but I don't like the faux bolster look. You can get the plain tie one. I hate that the, it jumps pictures when I don't want it to. Um, you can get the plain tie one and not have the faux bolster look. So if you just want a nice, simple, plain design, bang, there you go. And that one's only $250. Um, and we do, I think I talked about this earlier, so I'll try not to get too into it, but this finger troll is very important, guys. Um, if you are not a slip joint guy, but you want to get into it, um, this knife is perfect for you because of that finger troll. You can't close it on yourself. I mean, you could probably screw that up, but it's very hard. I've cut cardboard like crazy with this thing. And even bending the spring a little bit like that, you can't really close on it. You can't hurt yourself. It's amazing. Um, but it has all the features of a slip joint, which to me is the perfect balance of things. But, you know, you know, you shouldn't listen to me. Um, all right. So we got 249 on those. And then the black, um, black wash with cigar has 299. It'll be 329 retail. And then you have the blue cigar 299, 329 retail. Okay. I thought those retail prices were higher. So that's not too bad, but you should still obviously get it early. They're saying early 2024, um, if you order, blah, 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 yeah, yeah. Okay, so here we go. We love collabs. Nothing gets us more excited than providing a platform for creators and makers to shine. Designed and created in collaboration with Debo Knives, the Urban EDC Barley is a high-performance modern-day slip joint for the ages. For the ages, guys. Remember that. If you've ever had any hesitation about a slip joint knife, the Urban EDC Barley will change your mind. Inspired by the elegant simplicity and get shit done ethos of the hardworking pocket knives of our forefathers, the Urban EDC Barley is a non-locking slip joint knife with a modern twist. As opposed to carbon steel found on most slip joints, the Urban EDC Barley features a stunning Bowler M390 sheep's foot blade that cuts like a dream and will easily handle any daily cutting task with ease carefully contoured to fit confidently in hand the handles are machined from solid titanium for the ultimate lightweight performance a class apart the urban edc barley comes with a pronounced finger choil which allows you to choke up on the blade for enhanced grip and handling. When controlled in the choil and used appropriately, there's also the added benefit of the blade never being able to close down on you. Bang! Slim, sleek, and stylish, the Urban EDC Barley comes complete with a nicely balanced walk and talk, half stop, long nail nick, aka long pull, and the option of having the traditional Japanese cigaha wave motif engraved on the handle. If you're looking for the perfect balance of new and old, form and function, the Urban EDC Barley is where it's at, yo. Designed by Devo Knives, Bowler M390, non-locking, uh, titanium, choose blah, 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 perfectly bound, blah, 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 long nail neck, overall length, 6.75 inches, 2.45 on the blade length, 2.4 ounces, designed by Lefty EDC and CM Knife Designs, a.k.a. Devo knives made in China by knives. Um, okay, so one thing I want to make sure of here is the blade length. There's no way it's 2.45. I'm pretty sure maybe they meant the cutting edge. The 
blade length is yeah it's a little over three inches to the handle uh, yeah, three inches we'll call it to the handle maybe 2.9 your cutting edge is just over two and a half inches it's actually just a notch over two and a half so um those measurements are a little off just want to make sure you guys know it's not tiny um it's a smaller size knife maybe um but honestly you guys have seen it in my hand before. It it's plenty big. I mean, so don't get scared away by that 2.45. Here's the uh, F5.5 for reference. They should be almost identical in size. Yep, blade length is about the same. So if you guys have handled an F5.5 in that choke up grip, it's about the same. So. Just want to put that out there because um, I don't want people going, oh, man, that's tiny, right? It's not. It's a decent-sized knife. All right. Back to our What's Hot video, and I will shut up about the barley. Um, you have – never mind. They're gone. Ooh, some brown micarta and M390 F5.5s have surfaced. Okay. Okay. What? The stout? Where did they get these? One left, sold out. Yeah, where did they get those? I don't know if they held those back or something. Um, and they have it at pre-order price at two uh, two sixty nine. They were two ninety nine retail. I don't know what happened there, but um, yeah, okay, maybe they had some left over. I, I don't know. It's weird. Uh, they've been gone for a long time. So if you missed out on the stout, there's one left. In existence right now. Uh, we actually sold the last two at the Blade Show that we had. So they're gone. Um, maybe they just had those laying around. They were like, hey, we'll add it to the barley uh, drop. Makes sense. Uh, more of the Zach Wood uh, pry bar. And then you have the ProTech Runt 5 uh, with the bronze aluminum mosaic pin and a stonewash blade. That looks pretty damn good. $3.99 in Magna Cut. All right. That's ProTech. And that's it, guys. Um, pretty tight-knit drop. I would say the standout is the barley. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Um, I got to hype up my, you know, our knife design. Um, yeah, that's it, guys. That's all the items for the What's Hot this week. Uh, big shout-out to Urban EDC. I always appreciate you guys. Uh, they've been great to me, uh, to the channel, uh, Devo, all of that. It's been a great relationship. Uh, great people over at Urban AC. And um, again, links are down below. If you're going to pick up a barley, I'd appreciate it if you use my link. Um, help a brother out double time. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and I just think it's a sick knife, guys. Whenever, because uh, I loan the knives out a lot, but whenever it's here, I carry it a lot. It rotates with my Jack Wolf knives. That's how much I like it. Um, Jack Wolf knives to me are the pinnacle of the carrying a slip joint um for edc and i love them so much and this rides with a jack wolf i think it's right there it has some benefits over jack wolf where it's a little bit slimmer in the pocket you have that 0.32 um thickness on it you don't really lose any uh cutting ability with that because you have a thin stock at 0.09 i think or 0.08 but it's a flat grind where the Jack Wolves are a little thicker stock and they have a real deep hollow grind, you kind of come out even in the end. Um, you're going to get a little bit more of a, a, like a firmer, hard use type grip on a Jack Wolf for sure, because this is super ultra, super ultra. Sound like my kid. She's like, I want to go super duper extra fast. Oh, I love that kid. Um, but yeah, they, I think they compare well with jack wolf knives um and they also separate themselves it separates itself you know it's different it doesn't look the same it has the finger choil it's got the thinness to it um so you know you can have both and that's what i like about it um and hopefully at some point there will be some dope ass northwoods leatherwork slips for these i'm hoping they when these come in that they do a drop of some kind of limited um Northwood slip like the 
like the one they did for the uh, Vanish. Absolutely love this slip right here. Um, if we could do some stuff like that for the barley, that would be fantastic. But worst case scenario, you can always hit up my boy Troy and get yourself a slip when it comes in. Um, or you can order it early. He's already modeled this, clearly. Um, and, yeah, so there you go. That's the gear drop. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I love you all. I hope you have an absolutely fantastic day. And I will catch you.